Hey guys, let's go here and today I'm reacting to the Dead by Daylight 2v8 developer update. Um, I saw the trailer not that long ago and I enjoyed the trailer a lot. Um, I'm, I'm still, I'm still surprised they went ahead and released this so quickly. Um, I just, I felt like the wait time from Lights Out to Lights Out Castlevania was longer. And I felt like the the one for like the random perks was longer as well. Can't think of the actual name of it. But 2VA here was like four months. And I don't know, it just felt really short to me. But I'm still very excited to uh, learn more. I think everyone likes 2VA a lot. So I'm very, very excited to uh, jump into this. So let's do this. The beloved 2V8 mode is returning a lot has changed and since the first version i will say this i don't know if they're going to address this but if they don't um i have seen a few uh youtubers um i've seen some stuff online of people complaining about the queue time for killers still being long and that upset me just because they mentioned that they had a plan to shorten them. So I don't know if they're shortened at all, but I'm still kind of upset to hear that people are still complaining about that because they act they made such a big deal out of how they they were going to shorten that for the sequel. And this is the sequel, you know, this is the second version and it's still having that problem. So I'm really hoping that which is part of which is something that makes me think that they rushed the update a little bit to an extent, or at least they released it too quickly. And I'm really hoping that um, whenever version three of these of the free game modes we currently have come out, I really hope the two v eight one gets updated to be. Um, I really hope that they continue to try to um, decrease that long killer queue time for two v eight. Because the normal game mode, the killer IQ time is fine. So you would think scaling it, like kind of doubling everything, it would still be able to handle that. But it can't. Which is upsetting, but... Before I ramble on too much about that, let's do this. So much so we, that we couldn't squeeze it into our regular developer update, and we're going to dive into all of it today. Before we get started, it's important to note that everything below only applies to the 2v8 mode and will not affect regular risk. That's still pretty cool though. So first we got cages. So the way cages used to work for anyone who didn't get to play it much or a whole lot, um, the way cages used to work is you would stomp on the survivor after you down them and then they get transported to a cage. So it says change survivors are now sent to the cage sent to cages after being picked up by killer rather than by stomping so i guess now you pick them up 